made it out here to Enchanted Rock and I'm hiking to my camping spot. It's only two miles. Lived here most of my life and never been to Enchanted Rock, so I thought I would try it, see how it goes. This is the first time I've ever camped alone. All this stuff on my back, it's new to me. You go two miles, no sweat. Well, maybe a little sweat. No problem. I'll show you how I set up my tent, super easy. Tent set up, ready to go. I got this uh, little stove right here, and I uh, realized I left my matches and lighter either in my truck or at home. So I might need to go back to my truck, which it'll be a lot easier without the bag, but still, two miles? <sighs> learning, I'm learning. <laughs> Actually, this might not be the end of the world. I have this map here. I am right here. I could, and I'm parked here. I came from here all the way around um, this way. Now I just go all the way around and back that way. That should work. We're gonna try that. And then it's not like just the same thing over and over. So, I mean, I was gonna do these hikes anyway, so it doesn't, doesn't matter, see? Wasn't bad. The only bad thing will be is if I don't have that lighter in my truck. Let's go find out. Noob mistake. What is it, number three, four? <laughs> I think I uh, took a wrong turn. And it's worth me, I just turned around because it's, uh, if I don't turn around, I'm gonna be going for like, a really long way. But I've only gone, let's see, 0.6 miles out of the way. So by the time I get back, that'll only be 1.2 miles out of the way. No big deal. No big deal. I mean, what else do I have to do? That's what I'm here for. I'd prefer it to be like voluntary, not mistakes, but hey, it doesn't matter. Definitely gonna change shoes. I'll give you an update whenever I can. All right, now we're on track. This is, I'm 90% sure this is the right way. When I was in the army, land nav was probably my worst uh, thing, my worst thing. So I guess I haven't changed much in the last 11 years. think maybe I should have just taken the easy route till I got my better shoes on but oh well oh man I made it oh, let me turn the AC on for a second interesting it was interesting I uh, <laughs> it was a lot of fun but uh, definitely not what was planned I'm just gonna hang out here for a minute rest and then uh, get back up there. Oh, I gotta see if there's a lighter in here. Hold on, I got, I got sidetracked. Yes. Let me get some water and uh, we'll hit the trail. I made it back. Now I will make some sausage. It is morning. I've been up for about, oh, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half. It's 7.30 now. And sleep great. Uh, that little mattress pad I have in there is, uh, it could be better. I'll put it that way. But there's the uh, enchanted rock back there. This whole area is on a 
um, an incline. So I thought I had it in a good spot, but I don't think it's a good spot. So I'll, I'll move it for tonight. And then I don't think there's much I can do about that mattress pad, except when I get home, uh, throw it away and buy a new one. <laughs> but uh, other than that, it was okay. Coyotes were super loud. I was gonna turn on the camera and try to record it, but um, I was delirious and didn't think about it. So I'll try to do that tonight. But anyway, I'm about to go to my truck. Uh, I'm gonna take my water and fill it up somewhere, hike up Enchanted Rock and see where the day takes me. I can't remember what I said this morning, so I'm gonna recap. Uh, did I talk about the snake? I saw a snake last night. I got up to go to the bathroom about, I don't know, not that far. I want to get away from the tent, of course. I had my headlamp on, it was like nine o'clock. And there was, I don't know what kind of snake. I'm not a snake guy, I'm not a fan. When I see a snake, I leave the area immediately. And that's what I did. But I did see that it had a bunch of diamonds going down its back. <laughs> rattlesnake maybe, I don't know. Are there other snakes that have diamonds down their back other than a rattlesnake? But it was pretty close to the tent close enough so I got out of there pretty quickly and the uh, the coyotes they were just howling all night all night loud but that's about it when it comes to wildlife I guess we don't have any Texas bears out here <laughs> to the top. It took about 15 minutes. And I wasn't even really booking it, so. Not too bad. I've been up here about an hour, so. Time to head back, go to the truck. I'm still not 100% sure what I'm gonna do. I did it, I did everything I wanted to do. And the thing is, my campsite, I'm not allowed to have a fire. I don't have a chair to sit in, so it's like uncomfortable. And there's nothing to do, so yeah, I could go cook, but then, I don't know, I'll figure it out. So I got thinking when I was going up and down Enchanted Rock, well, there's two things. I might wanna hike it again this evening and see the stars, or do it in the morning and watch the sunrise from up there, or both. I haven't decided yet. The thing is, my campsite is two miles one way. Long story short, I'm moving to a closer spot. I already did it. Um, I wasn't allowed to have a fire up there either, which made it kind of boring at night because I'm just sitting there like, I mean, I'm looking at the stars and stuff, but it's not, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? So anyway, I'm about to go up there again, pack up all my stuff and come back down here. And, and get one of these spots that's a little closer. And that, I think that'll free me up and kind of let me see a little bit of the best of both worlds. I saw an amazing sunrise this morning from the primitive, primitive spot and now I can uh, see what these walk-ins are like and maybe bring the family back. That's where I'm at now and I will, I don't know, grab a bottle of water and head back up there, bend back down. All packed up. All right, you were good to me. ML one, two, three. One last look from this location anyway. Now I have two miles to walk. It's not that far, but it'd be all right. I, I overpacked, I'll just say that. This, this place is not uh, nearly as awesome, but <laughs> it is gonna make it more realistic for me to 
go out in the morning and I'll talk more about uh, what I learned. I mean, I wasn't prepared for everything. Now I know, so I will do better next time. Makes me want to come back next month. But uh, anyway, we'll see. We'll see you in the morning. Bye. trip. Now I'm going to head back home. One last look up here. Definitely not the last time I'll be here. I'll come back. I need another human with me next time, but this was a good trip. Can't complain.